All right, frenzies, I believe we are live, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and send this out through Class Dojo. It aired this afternoon or this morning, um, so I had to send it out twice. So hopefully, I don't have to do it this time. But it is up on Class Dojo, or not Class Dojo, but Google Classroom, aired on Class Dojo. Close names. So it is Thursday. We had music this morning. We got through math. Did our equivalent decimal work. And now we're going to read about YouTube while streaming on YouTube. It's kind of inception-y. All right, citizens. We're going to go ahead and turn that chat on. If you don't see the chat, fret not, just go ahead and refresh that page and you will be good to go. Ali is first out of the gate. Hello, sir. Hello, ma'am. Hello, Miss Alexa and Sir DJ and Jacob. Hello, Lexi. Hello, Rara. Gonna mark you off as you guys come in. Got Aya and Jacob. <laughs> Got Rara. I'm good, RC. How are you? I'm fighting back a sneeze currently. Have sneeze. Have sneeze. Bless me. Oh, jeepers. <laughs> Rara, I've had moments like that, too, where I'm like, Ugh, I have a headache. Should I take a nap? And then you end up just fretting the entire time. Like, Ugh, if I take a nap right now, I'm not going to wake up. <laughs> it's like one of those perpetual things where you end up worrying all night if you're going to miss your alarm clock. Hello, Javier. Hi, Nils. We are reading about YouTube today. Very, ex oh, what is it, Inception-esque. Hello, Shelby. Hi, Kira. Kira, you should watch what you do to get access to the chat. I wish I could help you. Oh, good job, Nils. Well done. I might have to go and blow my nose after that sneeze. I think I messed up my, uh, my sniffer. Hi, Lexi. Mark off. And then I've got Kian. And Kaylee. I have a meeting today, so I probably cannot do Among Us. So if you go and join the uh, the Zoom and I don't let you in, it's because I'm in a teacher meeting. Hi, Josiah. Hi, Micah. <laughs> Hello, Guy. Hi, Jenna. Yep, that sneeze did me in. I will be right back. There's Hanan.
Got RC and Devin. Do I have Ashley and Katrina yet? I've got Tiana. Hello. Hi, Zora. Yeah, of course I do. I'm not going to get the YouTube go away. Or the, what is it, the Zoom? I utilize the Zoom on a regular basis. Hi, Faze. No, they cut down trees yesterday in the, not my backyard, but like the neighboring house that is like adjacent to my backyard. And it's been pollen central the last like 24 hours. My allergies are not happy at all. My sniffer is like, I don't like you. I'm going to keep setting you off and I'm sneezing up a storm. So I have the sniffles. So if I have to peace out and go blow my nose. I don't want to do that on YouTube. That seems weird, so I'll be quick about it. I can't, Aiden, because I'm going to be using it. No, because I have to use it. So if you try and get in, I am not going to let you in because I've got to have a teacher meeting. Thank you, Micah. My nose appreciates that. <laughs> I have some intense allergies, Shelby. Oh my goodness. I have some gnarly ones. The worst one is my dust allergy. My dust allergy, my doctor says, is like the worst he's ever seen. <laughs> so me and dust don't get along very well. Hello, Hamza. I've got a tie. I've got sniffles. Hi, Zaleem. At least I'm presuming that's Zaleem, because I know he has a brother named Khalif, so I'm guessing here. Zaleem, is that you? I feel like 99% sure that's Zaleem. Townhomes are cool and they look fancy. At that point, Devin, I should be done. I will text you and let you know. But I definitely can't do 3 or 3.30 because right after this, I've got a teacher meeting with the new 5th grade teacher and the new 4th grade teacher. So we'll get started at 1.20. We will get started at 1.20. I'm going to let a couple more minutes roll until uh, friends roll in. Hi, Ray. I'm apologizing now for my sniffles because I can't make them stop. They are just relentless right now. Okay, I've got Aiden. Avery, if you're here, can you say hi? Yeah, there's a new fourth and a new fifth grade teacher. And then looking for Khalees, looking for Michaela and Sama. So ladies, if you're here, let me know. Yeah, Aiden planned for four. And if you don't hear from me or if I don't let you in, just know it's still going. Ray, that's not what that stands for. So three more minutes and then we'll get started and I'll take roll. Looking for Ashley, Katrina, and Khadija. So we've got uh, Javier. We have Mrs. Uh, Miss Tally and Mrs. Yoon. 
So I'm not the only Y name anymore. So that's exciting. There's someone else at the end of the alphabet having a party with me. <laughs> yes, lots of lady teachers. <laughs> Always in the younger grades. Ooh, Aiden, I wonder if you could try that. Kara says that she's got chat when she's on her phone. I wonder if you could have chat when you're on your phone. Interesting. Mr. Rad's over here. He's in a small group. Yeah, give it a try, because then at least you'd be in the chat box, Aiden. No harm in giving it a try. Conversations we have in my class. <laughs> the difference between OCD and then germophobia. So one more minute. Faiz people. There are people in Mr. Rad's group. So one more minute. Un momento. And then we'll go through and take attendance. So Ray, Miss Tally, and then Mrs. Yoon are the new teachers. Mrs. Yoon is new to San Diego Unified. Miss Tally was um, Miss Baxter's and Miss Hoffman's sub last year. And I think she subbed for Mr. Patton as well. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Academic, hats on. Type OK to show me you're ready to learn. Yes, Micah, they're doing exactly the same thing. Yeah, so the, the art activity is creating your own color wheel. You can make it as interesting and cool as you want. All right, so when you hear your name, say hi or hello. Here we go. Okay, I've got Zalim, Ali, Aya, Rara. I've got Zora. I've got Aiden and Jacob. I have Audric. I have Hamza, Kira, and Shelby. Avery, if you're here, say hi. I've got Kian, Kalise, and Lexi. Michaela, if you're here, say hi. Sama, I've got you. Micah, Nils, and Ty, I've got you.
There we go. Hi, Zalim. I got you. Marking you off. I've got Javier Faiz Hanan Devin. I've got Tiana, DJ, and Jenna. I have Alexa and Josiah. I have Kaylee, Guy, and RC. And then I'm missing my last tree. Ashley, Katrina, and Khadijah. If you're here, please say hello. My final three. Everyone else is accounted for. There's Khadijah. Hello, sweetie. So I'm missing Ashley and Katrina. I'm sorry. Ray. I have Ray. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and go through it. At this point in the day, your reflex math should be done. Your Flipgrid and your Prodigy should also be done. Your math, if you have issues with slide three, will you just message me? I can fix it. I've fixed a handful so far. I think I messed it up during the lesson. You remember how I was having issues dragging? Yes, of course, Jaden can watch. Hello, Jaden. So yeah, I think I messed it up. So if you're having issues with slide number three, let me know and I will fix it. But I won't know that yours is messed up unless you tell me. Some friends had already finished it, which is fine. But if you're having issues, send me a uh, dojo message so I know who I need to fix. So we're going to do literacy right now. Literacy has a question highlighting activity. So there's two versions of the text. One we're going to do right now and one that you'll do on your own to show your own annotations that are different than what we're doing in class. They come with different rules. Music. Make sure you finish your music homework today. There is an alternate art assignment where you're making a... Um, a color wheel. So your choice, you can print it or create your own. Your choice. Your choice. Alrighty, let's move into annotating. Type a text emoji if you are ready. Alrighty. So we're going to do our read aloud today. We're going to locate and highlight any words we do not know and un understand. We're going to highlight a section of text that we might have a question on, find interesting or have a connection to, and then we're going to highlight the author's claims. And of course, we're going to read about YouTube. So let's go ahead. We'll put our annotations on the top. So at this point, we know that first is unknown words. Second is questions, interesting details, and connections. And third is main idea. Mm -hmm. 
If you are ready to get started with unknown words, go ahead and type OK. If you're ready to get started with unknown words, go ahead and type OK. Thank you, Ali. Thank you, Aya and Ray and Kira. Thank you, Sky. Thank you, Alexi. Thank you, Ashley DJ. Oh, DJ, you just like making me go, oh, because I can do it. <laughs> All righty, here we go. Can I have my green at the ready? Let's do words we do not know and cannot define. Hello, Jaden. Here we go. YouTube is known for being a video website where people can share, watch, and comment on others' videos. Most kids prefer to watch YouTube over TV. In fact, nearly 73% of kids ages 5 to 15 have been on YouTube at least one time. There are different types of content on YouTube, such as slime tutorials, silly pranks, watching people play video games, and so much more. Gi si, por favor. Many people argue that kids are simply spending too much time on YouTube for many reasons, and this is impacting their exercise and preventing them from completing their homework. Are there any words you do not know or cannot define easily? I see like maybe two that possibly people wouldn't know. One is tutorials where you teach someone about something. And then the other one would be impact. How something alters, changes, or affects something else. Prefer means that you like one thing over another. I know I watch a lot of YouTube, but it's because I don't have cable. We've just opted not to have cable because there's a lot of other things to watch. You can watch Netflix, Hulu, Disney. So we have an abundance of things to watch. Ah, see, Devin, but not many people do. All right, let's go to the next one. First, it is extremely common for children to become overweight from too much screen time on YouTube. Rachel Simmons, a health and wellness coach, said if kids have more than two hours of screen time in a day, they are at a higher risk to become overweight due to the lack of exercise and time spent outdoors. Because of this risk, kids should be spending more time outdoors and less time on YouTube. So go ahead, type in the box, words you do not know or cannot easily define. So are there any words you do not know good job fantastic the only ones that i would probably say are like risk which like is a possible consequence so, like, if you're risking something, you're saying that you're okay with the consequences, good or bad. And possibly wellness. Health and wellness kind of go hand in hand. Perfect. I will help you afterwards, Guy. I can get you on. All right, then let's go down here. YouTube also prevents many students from doing their homework because it is a distraction. Appleton Elementary School in Southern California found that nearly 45% of students do not complete their homework. While there are many reasons as to why this may be, YouTube clearly is one of them. That's funny. All right, go ahead and mark down any words you do not know or cannot easily define. Any words you do not know or cannot easily define. Good job, Sama. I mean, I would think possibly distraction. But I think that might be it. Yeah, prevent. Means like hinder, create a barrier. 
I think the only thing in this article that I agree with is sometimes YouTube can be a distraction from you completing your work right away because you can procrastinate. So Alpatin's a location, Javier. So that would be the only thing that I would agree with in this article is I can definitely say that sometimes YouTube can be a distraction from getting our work done right away. And it starts blending into feeding procrastination would be like my two cents. Yeah, like a distraction. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's get that second color ready. Go back up to the top. Here we go. YouTube is known for being a video website where people can share, watch, and comment on others' videos. Most kids prefer to watch YouTube over TV. In fact, nearly 73% of kids ages 5 to 15 have been on YouTube at least one time. There are different types of content on YouTube, such as slime tutorials, silly pranks, watching people play video games, and so much more. Many people argue that kids are simply spending too much time on YouTube for many reasons, and this is impacting their exercise and preventing them from completing homework. Go ahead and mark a question you have, an interesting detail, or connection. I'm going to connect here. And I'm going to say... Many adults prefer YouTube to not just kids. In the chat, type your question, interesting detail, or connection. I should see something from everyone. Aya, so where did the content creators come up with their content? I think they literally invent it. They're just creative that way. Kind of like what we're doing, right? Like we're creating content right now. Miss Young's a YouTube star. Look at me go. Not really. <laughs> Do people make money from posting YouTube videos? Eh, it depends. Where do they get the idea on what to put on YouTube? Their imaginations. Connection, I watch TV 75%, but then I have YouTube, yep. This paragraph is so funny because now we have to spend at least three hours on YouTube. I know, Zora, right? Isn't that hilarious? I thought it was funny. I was reading this last time like, oh, this is hilarious. Why is there so much content on YouTube, Sky? I think it's because YouTube's been around for so long. So like the possibilities are endless on what you can find. So RC's connecting, he watches YouTube, good job. Jacob, it's true. Many kids have too much screen time and their eyes will turn red. It's true. You start becoming obsessed. Do people make money? Yep. That's why parents are like, get off YouTube. It's true. Right, Kira? It's not something that's brand new. True fact, Jacob. So we'll do one more minute. 136 will move. 136 will move on. <laughs> True, YouTube got bought from Google. Interesting conundrum, Zaleem. I think there are definitely educational benefits to YouTube. Like so. Hello, educational opportunities. <laughs> All right. Let's move to the next paragraph. Here we go. First, it is extremely common for children to become overweight from too much screen time on YouTube. Rachel Simmons, a health and wellness coach, said, If kids have more than two hours of screen time in a day, they are at a higher risk to become overweight due to the lack of exercise and time spent outdoors. Because of this risk, kids should be spending more time outdoors and less time on YouTube. What connection, question, or interesting detail did you come up with? Type it in the chat. Exactly, rah rah. Exactly. So I would actually say 
if kids have more than two hours of screen time, they're at a higher risk to become overweight due to this. So my question is, does this take school screen time into consideration? Because I'd be interested to know if that's two hours on top of the screen time you get at school, or is it two hours blanket statement? There's a statement, Sama. Thanks for sharing. So RC, you're at least acknowledging you're using it too much. Zora, right, if all of a sudden YouTube shut down for like a week, like what would people do? That's true, lack of exercise. Ooh, Zalim, extra conundrum. What if you exercise too much? You become too obsessed with that. Good job. Interesting pickles we are coming up with. It would be crazy. I agree. All right. These are very good friends. Very good. Good and deep questions. I like it. All right. Let's move to the next one. This is true, Aiden. It gets broken up because of recess. See, and that's where my question comes from, Lexi, because I don't know if this is taking into account the screen time that you would have on, like, for school. Like, is it a separate amount for school time and then, like, extra two hours at home? Or is it, like, the whole thing? All right, let's go ahead and move on. Next paragraph. Here we go. YouTube also prevents many students from doing their homework because it's a distraction. Appleton Elementary School in Southern California found that nearly 45% of students do not complete their homework. While there are many reasons as to why this may be, YouTube clearly is one of them. So go ahead. A question, interesting detail, or connection that you have. So, I keep touching it with my arm. All right, so mine immediately, I was brought to this. 45% of students do not complete their homework. I have a question on this. This does not specify that YouTube is to blame. I have to wonder the other about the other types of possible distractions. I immediately think of like, oops, Fortnite, Among Us, TV, etc. Yeah, exactly. Netflix. Hulu, I doubt it's purely YouTube. See, Shelby, that was my thought exactly. I don't think this isn't good data. Yeah, see, Ray, I agree. There's got to be other reasons, like... When I'm procrastinating work, I'm not on YouTube. I'm usually playing other stuff. Or I have a headache and I have to lay down for a bit until my migraine goes away and I stop seeing double. <laughs> like, I can't do squat when I'm seeing colors. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> exactly. It's got some benefits. All right. So now we're going to go through. Go with your pink. And we're going to try and find main idea. Remember, the main idea is what's going to set up the rest of what we're reading about. Okay, here we go. 
YouTube is known for being a video website where people can share, watch, and comment on others' videos. Most kids prefer to watch YouTube over TV. In fact, nearly 73% of kids ages 5 to 15 have been on YouTube at least one time. There are different types of content on YouTube such as slime tutorials, silly pranks, watching people play video games, and so much more. Many people argue that kids are simply spending too much time on YouTube for many reasons, and this is impacting their exercise and preventing them from completing their homework. What do you think is the main idea? What idea is this paragraph setting up? What does it tell us we are going to be reading about? Where does it set up the reader? Looking for a main sentence, the topic sentence. So yeah, it's the last one. Many people argue that kids are simply spending too much time for many reasons and it's impacting their exercise because what do we read about in the next two paragraphs? We read about the exercise issue and the preventing from completing homework. So make sure that you're looking for what it's looking for, what it's setting up for the other two paragraphs. Okay, let's go to the next one. It says, first, it is extremely common for children to become overweight from too much screen time on YouTube. Rachel Simmons, a health and wellness coach said, if kids have more than two hours of screen time in a day, they're at a higher risk to become overweight due to lack of exercise and time spent outdoors. Because of this risk, kids should be spending more time outdoors and less time on YouTube. Where is the main idea? What sentence sets up the idea of what the author is trying to argue? There's one that sets it up pretty nicely. Where is it? There's one that sets it up pretty nicely. Where is it? I got lots of friends typing. Good job. Right, the first sentence, very good. So it is extremely common for children to become overweight from too much screen time. And then it explains why, very good. All right, let's move to the next one. YouTube also prevents many students from doing their homework because it's a distraction. Appleton Elementary School in Southern California found that nearly 45% of students do not complete their homework. While there are many reasons as to why this may be, YouTube clearly is one of them. Okay, what do we think? Is the main idea here? Think about what the whole paragraph is teaching us. What is the whole paragraph teaching us? Good job, Ray. Yes, YouTube prevents many students from doing their homework because it is a distraction. Very good. Any questions before we get into the activity that you will be doing? Thank you. Good job, Josiah. Good job, RC. All right, so let's look at your work. So you have your paragraph that you just annotated. 
you have a set of questions that you're going to be answering. And then you've got another paragraph down here where you are going to highlight based on these colors. Do you see how the colors are different? Do you see how the colors are different? So you've got lime, pink, orange, yellow. So we just highlighted the main idea of the whole thing in paragraph one. So you're going to go in now here and use lime to find the main idea. Okay. Then you'll use pink to show where the author proves they are either for or against YouTube. Is the author a pro YouTube user or are they a con and then orange is find evidence that supports the idea that too much screen time is bad Yellow is evidence from the text to support that YouTube causes distractions. Then you have to come up with your own claim. Remember, a claim is arguable. Just saying I like YouTube is not a claim. Who remembers what's that, what is that called? I like YouTube is a, not a claim. We learned about it on Monday. I like YouTube is a what, not a claim. What is it? It's a what, starts with an S. Yes, Aiden, it's a statement. So you need to come up with a claim about YouTube that you can argue. Questions? After you highlight, you do need to write it in the box. Fantastic. So we'll go back here. Ray, yes, and then I needed the flip grid. So Hogwarts houses are hitting tomorrow. I'll be looking for completed work. And then you are welcome to leave. Unless you need me for a question. Shelby, I wouldn't put you there. Your sister's a Gryffindor. If anything, I'd stick you in Ravenclaw.
All right, Kira, go. What's your question? Aiden, yeah, I would structure it, though. I would put a sentence starter and then do your uh, lead in. If you want to kick things off and do a claim first and then your evidence, that would be cool, too, because next week we start reasoning. Zalim, you do not. Sure, Jaden, that's fine. You can bring Micah, too, because it's his classmates. So I'm happy to host all of you guys. So if you go into it, Kira, it gives you all the details. So again, Kira, if you go into it, it tells you what to do literally step by step. So if you want to do this, you can. So it says in the section of the color wheel, list them 1 through 12 going all the way around. My guess is like a clock. And then it will tell you what numbers are what colors. And then it will tell you these are the primary colors. These are the secondary colors. These are the tertiary colors. And then it also gives you the color wheel down below. So your choice, you can either print that off or create your own. It just has to have 12 sections. So yeah, Kira, you don't have to do this. This is just what we're doing today. Um, I've got art for both fourth and fifth grade. I just thought this would be a fun place to start off. Okay, give me a sec. -y. Let me get my translator. It's all good. It's coloring. It's a nice relaxing activity. Put on some classical music and color away. I might do it too. How's that? I will color as well. Maybe I'll make something fancy. Yeah, have fun with it. If you look on Pinterest, there's a bunch of really cool uh, color wheels that you could do. Lots of cool ones. All right, so let me see. Number the sections, 1 through 12, each with its own number. Jaden, it's up on Class Dojo, or not Dojo, but um, Google Classroom. image <coughs> bless me woof see if that helps
Bye, Faiz. We'll see you online. Yeah, Kira, you're good. If you don't have any more questions, you're good to go. I'll see you guys tomorrow at 8. So if you don't have questions, you are free to go. I am just helping a few students with their color wheel activity. Let's see. You can use paint, crayon, marker, colored pencil, your choice. All right, perfect. Then I will see you guys later. And let me know if you need help or if I need to fix that last slide for you guys in math. All right. Bye, frenzies. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Have a good rest of your day.